Well, good afternoon. How are you all doing? I've been feeling a little better and able to get up and around. Um, so I decided to come out in the shop today and do a little bit of light duty work. Um, so today's mission is I decided to put in, finally get around to putting in the um, b &M pistol grip shifter that I showed you before. Um, you'll have to ignore the mess and the lighting in the car. Uh, getting ready to strip the wire out of it to uh, completely rewire the car with a painless kit. But anyway, and ignore the console. It's uh, a little rough, but this is just for mock-up. I have a brand new console to go in it. But this is what I ended up with. I still have to um, shim it up a little bit more. Um, it fit in there fine and there was lots of clearance for the trigger and everything um, but when I put the carpet back in the car that raid the thickness of the carpet uh, made it a little bit rougher so uh, I just have to uh, shim it up a little bit more and it should be good um, it works pretty good uh, I finally got my um, momentary switch put on like I uh, showed in a different in another vi in a previous video um, so that's going to be for my line lock. Uh, the shifter itself works pretty good. And you come back to low gear. Uh, second, and you pull your trigger and hold it. It goes into drive. And you got your neutral. And then you down here you have your reverse lockout. Push it. It goes into reverse. And then up into park. Um, like I said, the console... This is just the old one. Uh, I got a new one to put in the car. I'm just using this for mock-up. Now what I'm gonna do here is, uh, this is this is the original shifter plate for, it had the, the original shifter was the old horseshoe shape. It would come up over and down and you had a trigger in the middle. You probably all seen them. Um, and the, uh, the plate for the shifter was in two pieces. This is the outer piece, and then there was a piece that went in between the two arms. Um, so just to make a template to see how it was going to work, I used the outer piece. And now I'm going to, at work, I'm going to get a, a piece of probably 16 or 14 gauge um, black iron or satin coat. And I'll... Uh, Replicate this this piece here drill my holes and I'll just fill in the sides here a little bit more as far as I can Mostly on this side and then what I'll then what I'll do and then it'll just be the be the slot for the shifter to come back uh, Then what I think would look good and what I'm going to do uh, the piece I had made for before that was uh, for a ratchet shifter. I just had an, a piece of um, polished stainless that I made at work and uh, put in and had the slot. But the original shifter, it had the uh, chrome bezel around the outside and then it had wood grain in the middle and then another uh, chrome trim on the inside. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of metal like I, like I said I was going to do. Then um, I'm going to take it to my friend Nadine who has Pleasantville Signs. Uh, they do really good work. Uh, signage, wraps, decals, all that. So what I'll get to do, get her to do, is I'll get her to make uh, a wrap for my piece of metal that will have a chrome, chrome looking trim ring on the outside, wood grain, and then a little trim ring around the shifter in the middle again. So that should turn out pretty good. And uh, if I do anything else, uh, I'll let you know. If not, have a good day.